WREG News Channel 3 at 10 starts now. Breaking news is first on News Channel 3 at 10. Two weeks after a woman was shot and killed in a quiet Cordova neighborhood, police say they have the man in custody who took her life. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Anthony Olivo is charged with first degree murder, but he claims he didn't carry out the crime alone. WREG's Michael Quander is live in the studio tonight after talking to neighbors. Michael, I imagine that the people who live near the murder have another concern tonight. Well, that's mostly because there, there's possibly a second killer out there roaming the streets. Cold-blooded. It's the only way people in this Cordova neighborhood can describe the way Susan McDonald was killed two weeks ago. I guess I just didn't think that something like that would happen over here. It was just, it was horrible. Saturday, a sign of relief. <sighs> As police say they caught the bad guy who did this. I'm glad they caught, glad they caught him. Jail doors slam on Anthony Olivo with no bond set. Utter relief. For us to feel safer again, but for her family who finally has an answer. He's charged with first degree murder. Do you feel like he did it though? Or do you think that he probably didn't? Uh, not me personally. Someone outside Olivo's home said he's innocent and a good person. God, nice. Well, that got us digging into Olivo's past. We found Olivo has been in and out of trouble with the law for years and faced theft and drug charges. In this latest case, police say Olivo told them he was working with someone else to plan this robbery attempt when things went wrong and McDonald was murdered in this driveway. When you get one and you put pressure on them, I'm pretty sure they're going to come up with the other guy. Neighbors say after they saw the tape up, neighbors gathered up on the other side and police cars right here on Baysmore this month, they don't feel safe anymore. We've just been stricken with fear. A fear they hope will disappear when police get this second bad guy off the streets. Turn them in for the money, turn them in for your heart, turn them in morally, turn them in. Turn them in indeed. Now police have not released a description or said much about this second person listed in the report. Now Crime Stoppers just up the reward in this case before the arrest. It's not clear if that money will now be used to catch this other suspect. Michael Quandry, WREG News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Michael. Keep us updated about that other individual.